All right, this is the build an atom class activity. Uh, so the purpose of this activity is to build atoms and understand the internal structure of an atom. So you can see that there are references there. There's going to be this video, um, but also there is the simulation link. Uh, that is this on the right side of the screen. Uh, there, there's that link there. It's, it's from a site called FET. Um, now, there is a lot of videos here. There's one on the nucleus, like the makeup of the atom. There is a video on the periodic table. There is a video on ions. And of course, I did provide a link to this periodic table because you will need this on this activity. So the instructions for the first part is to use the build an atom simulation to add different particles to an atom and answer the questions for each atomic particle. The squares won't turn green until the entire question is correct. So the first one is, you know, you add a proton, you add a neutron, electron. First thing I want to do is I want to click on this one, the atom. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I want to see it uh, stable and unstable, whether it's neutral or an ion. That's good because we're learning about ions. Uh, I want to see what the charge is, and I want to see what the mass number is. Um, so the, the first part is just add a proton, neutron, electron, and the questions are, well, where in the atom did it go? Now, what did the mass number or that atomic mass do when it was added? So you can see off to the right, there is a mass number here, and then there's the charge. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, you add a proton, you add a neutron, you add an electron, and you have to be able to answer those questions. Well, how did each of those affect those different uh, part of, or parts of the uh, atom? All right. Uh, then answer the questions based on this. Now, the hint on this one is like, uh, look at the atom you created in the simulation. And some of them, you might have to start adding, like these down here. How many spots are there in the electrons in the first orbital? Keep adding electrons to the atom until the both orbitals are full, and you'll be able to answer these questions. Now, the next part is um, we're going to build the atoms and answer these questions. Uh, all, uh, all that is given to you is the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do that first one, the, the number 11. So I'm going to add three uh, protons. Let's see, I want four neutrons. And if you ever get confused in counting, there is a little counter up in the top left. So I need to add four. I need to add four neutrons, and I need to add three electrons. Good. Now, I need to figure out what element it is. And Li, well, it, or it tells me right there, it is lithium. Right, so I need to scroll down and find lithium. Here it is. The group number, I have to look on the periodic table. It shows you where it is on the periodic table, but I can look at the periodic table that I have, find lithium right here, and then I look up and I can see uh, that it is in group number one. So I can see here that it is in group number one. I type in one. Uh, then the number of valence electrons. If you need help about valence electrons, I mean, you can count them on here. I know that there's one. But on the periodic table, uh, it is the group number. So it is in group number one. There is one valence electron. And for elements that are in group 13 through 18, you just ignore the one. So elements in group 13 have three valence electrons. Well, now we're getting into the part where we're talking about ions. So it has one valence electron. You have to decide whether it's going to lose, gain, or not do anything with those electrons uh, based on how many valence electrons it has. So think about it this way. Atoms either want eight valence electrons in their shell or to get rid of uh, all, those, all those valence electrons to get down to zero. Think about what would be easier. So it has one valence electron. Would it be easier for it to get rid of one valence electron to get down to zero or to gain seven to get up to eight? So it's going to lose that one valence electron. It's going to lose that one valence electron. Now, the element symbol, it's, it's given on the simulation. You can also look it up in the periodic table. It is Li. Now I need the ion charge. So you can make this. For yourself. So all I do is I just see how easy it is. Like uh, otherwise, you know, to get a full valence shell, it's going to have to add a bunch more. But what I can do is I can take that one electron away, and I can see what charge it has. Notice it's a positive ion, and I can see my net charge over here. It has a positive one ion. 
So I just go down here and I say, well, it has one positive charge. And notice it turned green when I got all of them correct. So you can go ahead and make all of those. Then the other questions down here, ask those questions. And it says, well, uh, based on different ions. Uh, so it gives you a little hint there about telling you those charges. Um, now, the next part is a different part of the simulation. So if you look down here, uh, you can see, oh, let me get on here, uh, that I need this symbol tab down at the bottom, and it shows you that right there, right? There we go. All right, so uh, it says click on the symbol box at the bottom of the screen, and that's what we did. You can see it down there, but that's what we're looking for. Um, use the simulation to figure out which atomic particles affect each component of the atomic symbol, and you do have to get these rows right. So this is what an atomic symbol looks like. You can see that right here. Right? So what you're doing uh, is you're adding the different particles to figure out, well, what uh, part A is, part B, part C, and part D is. So you're adding protons, neutrons, and electrons to, fit, to find out, well, what is affecting these parts, and what are they? Right? Well, what is part A? What is part B? What is part C? What is part D uh, based on that? So that is what you're going to do there on uh, that one. All right. Um, and the last part, what you're doing is you're going to the games tab down here. So it says practice applying your understanding by playing levels three and four on the game screen. Play until you can answer all questions correctly on level four. Take a screenshot when you finish both levels. Place the screenshot below. So here's the game. And you're doing levels three and four, so the, the right two. Um, and this is how to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, and then you can just place it there. Just, uh, just paste it uh, right in that window. Um, so uh, I'm looking for these two right here, right? The, the last two. Uh, so like if I'm looking at this one, I just click on that game, um, and it tells me, uh, okay, like it gives me this. And based on what you've learned on this simulation, you do have to look at this atom and answer these questions. And based on what I know, um, I can see that I know that that's going to be four. And then you can check it, and it will uh, give you like points. So uh, that is how uh, that works. Once you get done with all of that, let's see if I can go back home. Um, oh, let's see, I can just start over, right? Once you get done with all that, you'll have all the stars. Uh, you do that for three and four, then just take that screenshot. If you want to get extra practice, you can do the first two. So this is a very good tool. And then at the very end, just remember to click uh, yes, right? So, uh, you know, I can just go in and check that. But that's just to make sure, hey, I've done that. I've done uh, level three and level four. So once again, this is the build an atom simulation.